Welcome to my channel, I am starting by the grace of my creator. How are you all? Using polar tracking and polar snap in this lesson, you learn how to create geometry at precise distances and angles from other geometry using polar tracking and polar snap. You might not use polar tracking and polar snap every day, but knowing how and when to use these tools greatly increases your productivity in certain situations. In the following illustration, polar tracking and polar snap are used to create geometry at precise angles and distances. Objectives after completing this lesson, you will be able to use the polar tracking and polar snap modes efficiently and effectively. Using polar tracking and polar snap because everything that you create requires some degree of precision, it is critical that you learn the different options for creating geometry accurately and yet efficiently. Previously, you learned how to enter coordinate data in the form of absolute and relative coordinates. These methods, though important, are not always the most efficient for creating geometry. Using polar tracking and polar snap, you can create geometry with the same precision as coordinate entry allows you, but more efficiently. To use these features, you need to adjust their options and turn them on using the status bar buttons. In the following illustration, the same paths are being drawn using polar tracking and polar snap. The alignment paths appear as dotted lines extended indefinitely from the point of your cursor. The polar tooltips display the current position of the cursor relative to the last point selected. The path on the left is using polar tracking with an absolute angle measurement, while the path on the right is using the relative to last segment option. Using polar tracking with polar snap, you can accurately draw the previous geometry without having to enter cumbersome coordinates. Command access polar menu bar, tools drafting settings polar tracking tab keyboard shortcut, F10 status bar, polar tracking, right click settings, drafting settings dialog box, polar tracking tab use the following options to control various aspects of the polar tracking feature, select to turn on polar tracking. You can also press F10 to toggle polar tracking on or off. Select an angle from the list to increment the polar alignment paths as the cursor approaches the selected angle. Select to snap to the additional angles defined in the list. Click to define an additional polar snap angle. Click to delete the selected angle in the additional angles list. Click to display the angle of the alignment path as an absolute angle in the current coordinate system. Click to display the angle of the alignment path relative to the last segment drawn. Drafting settings dialog box, snap and grid tab use the snap and grid tab of the drafting settings dialog box to adjust the snap settings for use with polar tracking. Use the options highlighted in the following illustration to enable precision cursor movement along the polar tracking alignment path. Click to enable the cursor to snap to predefined distances along the alignment path. Enter a distance to increment the cursor as it moves along the alignment path. This option is only available when polar snap is selected. Procedure, using polar tracking and polar snap the following steps give an overview of using polar tracking and polar snap to create geometry. 1. Right click polar tracking on the status bar and click settings. In the drafting settings dialog box, polar tracking tab. You can turn polar tracking on and off and select an increment angle from the list. 2. You can set a polar snap increment as shown in the following list or key in values with direct distance entry. In the drafting settings dialog box, snap and grid tab, select the snap on, F9, option. Under snap type, click polar snap. Under polar spacing, for polar distance, enter a distance. Click OK. Begin creating geometry such as lines or polylines. Click a point in the drawing window and drag your cursor to the next point. The polar tracking tooltip displays the polar distance and angle. For continue selecting points, using the polar tracking tooltips for precise distances and points as shown. Polar tracking and polar snap guidelines using polar tracking, you can quickly snap to predefined angle increments while moving the cursor to draw or edit geometry. Polar tracking is more flexible than traditional ortho mode that restricts your cursor movement to horizontal or vertical directions, yet polar tracking offers the same benefit of being able to easily draw lines at common angles. Using polar snap, you can select points along the alignment path that would otherwise require the use of cumbersome coordinate entry. Unlike grid snap, 
which increments all cursor movement, polar snap forces the cursor to move in increments only when the angle of the cursor is equal to a polar tracking angle increment. When the cursor angle is not an increment of the polar tracking angle, the cursor can move freely. Grid and snap when you activate the grid, a pattern of dots appears in the background. The area represented by these dots is referred to as the drawing limits. In the following illustration, the rectangle was drawn with grid and snap turned on. Notice how the rectangle is aligned perfectly with the grid pattern. To turn on grid or snap, click the appropriate buttons on the status bar. Note, you can turn these two settings on or off independently of each other. Ortho mode An alternate method to polar tracking is ortho mode. When ortho mode is turned on, your cursor can move parallel only to the X or Y axis, so you can quickly draw straight lines or move items easily along the X or Y axis. In the following illustration, lines were drawn using ortho mode. The arrow indicates the temporary override symbol that appears when a temporary override key is being used. In this case, the temporary override for ortho mode is active. Click ortho on the status bar or press F8 to turn ortho mode on or off. Note. Press and hold shift while drawing or moving geometry to activate the ortho mode temporary override. As long as the shift key is pressed, ortho mode is active. Exercise, use polar tracking and polar snap in this exercise, you create lines at precise distances and angles using polar tracking and polar snap. When you have completed the exercise, you will be able to use the polar tracking and polar snap features to create precise geometry. The completed exercise completing the exercise to complete the exercise, follow the steps in this book or in the on-screen exercise. In the on-screen list of chapters and exercises, click Chapter 2, Creating Basic Drawings. Click Exercise, Use Polar Tracking and Polar Snap. 1. Open M underscore Roller dot DWG. 2. On the status bar, Make sure the following settings are on, Snap Polar Tracking Object Snap Model Right Click Polar Tracking and Select Settings. 3 In the Drafting Settings dialog box, Polar Tracking tab, select 15 from the Increment Angle list. Under Polar Angle Measurement, click Absolute. On the Snap and Grid tab, click Polar Snap. Enter 1 in the Polar Distance field. 5 On the Object Snap tab, make sure Endpoint and Node are selected. Click OK. 6. To draw the line using polar tracking, activate the line tool. Specify the line's start point from the point object, using the node object snap override. Drag the cursor to the right until the polar tracking tool tip reads 25.000 degrees. Click the point. 7. Position the cursor so that the polar angle tool tip reads 15.0045. Click the point. 8. Position the cursor so that the polar angle tool tip reads 25.000. Click the point. 9. Position the cursor so that the polar angle tool tip reads 15.00315. Click the point. Position the cursor so that the polar angle tool tip reads 25.000. Click the point. 11. Move the cursor upwards until the polar tracking cursor reads 70.0090. Click the point. 12. Repeat these steps to draw the top half of the object which mirrors the bottom half, changing the polar angle accordingly. Your final endpoint should be at the original start point. 13. Press Enter to repeat the line command. Select the endpoints indicated in the following image to draw the inner vertical lines. Press Enter to end the line command. 14. Close all files. Do not save. If any need, Contact me by gmail md.asad7157 at gmail.com. Thanks, for watching subscribe my channel and press the bell icon to get next video.